Hey there, welcome to another episode of Great Men Taking Over the World. This is your boy Dark Assassin. I'm here to review another classic on the PS1, Fighting Force. How I got into the game, I saw it at Myers back when I was with my mom in sixth grade, 98. It was like 1999 on sale. And it was at the same time that I got Tekken 3 in 98 back when I was in sixth grade. So I bought the game without even renting it. And I heard of it because of magazines and TV. And they looked pretty interesting because it was a 3D beat em up like Die Hard Arcade and Dynamite Cop and all those other type of games of 3D beat em ups. And I just bought the game, played it, and actually liked it and had a blast from there. And it was quite interesting. My favorite thing about this game is just a basic uh, 3D beat em up to get into. That's just fun to play for like a lot of basic fun and just basic thing to get into. It's not the best game in the world, but it's still pretty good to own and just to get into for like a quick bit of fun for like an hour or so. I like shooting people with the guns. I like hitting them with black metal pipes, the baseball bats, the knives and the bottles and bashing into their heads and then cutting them up with it I thought was pretty good and that's what makes the gameplay so fun in the game. Are you a violent person by nature? Uh, no, I, I try to be peaceful, just don't piss me off because you know I will react but I, I try to be a fairly peaceful person. My favorite character is Smasher because he looks cool and I like how he punches through uh, the walls and breaks through the walls and I like his uh, whole scale of fighting and punching and kicking and slamming and throwing people and that sort of thing. My favorite levels would be the uh, flying ship stage. I like the city stage. I like the elevator stage in the beginning and I like the air base stage as well. And I like the mall stage too. My favorite boss is fighting this girl named Jetpack at the airbase once you complete that level and fighting Zhang at the end of the game. Best music? Is there good music? No, here? no, no. Cut that, no. Terrible music? Yeah. <laughs> you should say that. Tell us about the music. Don't feel like it. It's not even worth it, dude. What the, what's the point? <laughs> what's the fucking point? See, this is, this is going in. Yeah, this is good. What's really the point? The music, I haven't think much about. It's just, it's just good, fun gameplay to get into. It's just good, fun gameplay, cheap game to get into for $19. It's just fun, <laughs> basic gameplay, man. I mean, really. How about those people, those sad souls that had to pay 50 bucks for it? 50 bucks for it? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Well, you know, I kind of feel bad for them, but at least <laughs> I paid 19 so I don't really care about them. I care about myself. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. The real dark. Okay, okay. What rating would you give this game? I give it a 7 out of 10 because there's different routes you can go in the story mode, like the novel base, the air base, and different routes you can go throughout the game. So I'll kind of give it a little higher rating because of variety's sake, so that's why. I would recommend it for like a PS1 game to buy, yeah, for a cheap price, because it should be cheap to get even now, I'm pretty sure. And uh, just my summary of it is just a good beat em up with fun gameplay to play with friends or whatever you want to do, to play with friends or to play by yourself. But obviously this game, the gameplay just does not compare to the classic 2D side scrolling. That is box. true. You have my total agreement there. Thank you for joining me on this episode where I review another PS1 classic. Please hit the subscribe button and until next time, see you around. How I got into the game is one of those games I got in. Oh, hold on, hold on. How I got into the game, it was a game Whoa, that. Oh, that sounded too serious. Huh? Start it again. No, I'm getting serious. No. <laughs> okay, let's go again. Do it. Stop laughing, you fucking clown. <laughs> I'm gonna kick you. You're just making it worse. Are you recording this? Yes. Awesome. Oh, this is perfect. Stop laughing, you fucking clown. <laughs> <laughs> and you got some baggy jeans, dude. What the fuck?
Ah, whatever. Or what? Are, Dude, let's beans. get to the meat and potatoes are, of it. You they? Fucking jackass. <laughs> Pelly Pelly. Pelly Pelly. Yeah. <laughs> Those are massive. <laughs> yeah. All right. You ready? What you say? Yeah. Okay. Now I'm gonna kick your ass. Let's shut your ass up. This is great. <laughs> this is like some <laughs> guy behind the scenes. Yeah, this is actually fact secrets. <laughs> <laughs> he looks retarded. <laughs> he looks retarded. All right, sit down, sit down. No. I'm like one of those bosses that just plays. That's it. <laughs>